Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use code blocks on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So the prerequisite of installing code blocks on your Mac operating system is that you need to either have the Xcode developer tools installed or Xcode itself installed on your Mac operating system. So let me show you how you can install the Xcode. So just open the App Store by clicking on the App Store icon and then search for Xcode here and you will be able to see the Xcode uh, result here which is Xcode Developer Tools. So in my case I have already installed it but I have already created a video how you can install Xcode on your Mac operating system. So I will put the link of that video in the description of this video so you can uh, install Xcode on your Mac operating system if you don't know how to do that. But this Xcode will take around 7 to 8 GB of space on your Mac operating system because it's going to uh, install the Xcode developer tools including the tools which you might not require for example for C or C++ development which you want to do using code blocks right so if you don't have the space on your mac operating system and you don't want to install xcode uh, in a full package around 7 to 8 gb then you also have other option and the other option is to install Xcode developer tools via the command line. It's not going to take so much space on your computer, but it's also going to work with your code blocks. So Xcode select space hyphen hyphen install is the command for that. So if you don't want to install Xcode developer tools from the app store, then you can just run this command and this will work also. So I'm going to just copy this command and then I'm going to uh, click on the spotlight and then search for the terminal and then open the terminal and then paste this command here and then I'm going to press enter and in my case it says the command line tool are already installed right so I have already installed the full version of Xcode and that's why it says that it's already installed in your case if Xcode is not installed via App Store this command will work. So it's either or, right? Either you can use this command or install Xcode from the App Store. Once you have Xcode developer tools, let's go to the browser. So you can choose uh, any browser of your choice and search for code blocks. And the first link which will appear here will be from codeblocks.org. So I'm going to click on this link. And here, let me just press on consent. And here I can read more about code blocks but we want to download it so I'm going to click on this download uh, link here and under download it says download the binary release so I'm going to click on download the binary release and then I have the option for the Mac OS X so I'm going to click on this link which says Mac OS X and then I have two links here I can either download the Mac binaries from FossHub or SourceForge.net. I'm going to choose the second option which is SourceForge.net under Mac OS. So I'm going to click on this link which is going to redirect me to the SourceForge.net website. But you don't need to download this version of code blocks. So I'm going to cancel the download of this version which starts automatically. This is the 32-bit version for code blocks which is compatible with the previous version of Mac OS. But you need to go here once again. Once the download of that file is complete, when you scroll down, you will be redirected to uh, the sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash code blocks URL. Here, you need to scroll down and then click on this files tab here so click on the files tab and then you need to download the 64-bit dmg version here okay so you don't need to uh, download the zip file but when you 
go to the files option, you need to download the DMG version of code blocks here. I'm going to give this URL in the description of this video also, so you can directly come to this uh, website. Otherwise, when you click on the SourceForge website from the code blocks, it's going to download the zip file, which we don't require. I'm going to uh, download this uh, .dmg file for the 64-bit option. And once I click on that option, the download of the DMG file will start and not the zip file. You can see I have previously downloaded the zip file because the download of the zip file starts automatically, which I don't want, right? I want the DMG file for OS X64. Once the file is downloaded, click on uh, the file, which is going to start the installer for code blocks. Let me minimize the browser. Now the process of installation is really simple. Just click on the code blocks icon here, press command key, and then drag and drop this code blocks icon on top of the applications folder until you see the plus symbol and then leave it on the applications folder. So now code blocks is transferred to your applications folder and now I can see this icon here. Once you see the code blocks icon uh, inside your applications folder, you can uh, just close this uh, installer window and then I can go to launchpad and then open the code blocks from here or I can even go to the applications folder in the finder and open the code blocks from there. Just click on the code blocks IDE. It's going to start the code blocks IDE now. So for the first time when a code block starts, it's going to recognize the compiler. In my case, it has recognized two compilers. One is the GNU GCC compiler and other is LLVM CLang compiler. Default is the GNU GCC compiler. So I'm going to leave it as default. You can also leave it as default if you want to change the default compiler to the CLang compiler, just select that and then set as default. So just click on set as default and then you will use the CLang compiler. But for now I will use the GCC compiler. So I'm going to click on OK here, which is going to start the code blocks IDE. Now once the code blocks IDE starts, let's create a very simple C++ program. So I'm going to click on the file here and then click on new and then I can click on the project option. So new project and here you can choose from so many different projects. For now, I want to create a console application. So I'm going to click on console application here and then click on go. And then it says uh, we are going to create the console application. I'm going to click on next and it will be a C++ application. So I'm going to select C++ and then click on next. And then I'm going to provide the project title. I'm going to name my project as hello world here. And then I can also choose the destination where I want to save this project. So I'm going to click on these two dots button. And then I want to save this project in my documents folder. So I'm going to choose the documents folder and then click on open, which is going to save my project in my documents folder. Now I'm going to click on next. And then here you can see I can choose the compiler, which is GCC by default. Here I also have the option to choose the other compilers if I have those compilers, right? Also it says create a debug configuration. I will leave it as default. Also it says create a release configuration. I will also leave it as default and then click on finish here. Once I click on finish, my project is created. So this is a C++ project. And here I can see under sources, I have one main.cpp file. So let me click on that which is going to code blocks application quits unexpectedly. And I can see this message which says code blocks quit unexpectedly. Click report to see the details. So let's see how we can sh solve this problem. So for now, I'm going to click on ignore. Once again, I'm going to open the code blocks here. And once code blocks opens, before opening my project, what I need to do is I need to click on plugins here and then click on manage plugins 
and there is a plugin called code completion plugin which causes this error so i'm going to select code completion plugin and then click on disable in front of it so i have disabled this code completion plugin and once this code completion plugin is disabled i'm going to try to open the project once again so let me just click on file click on open and then click on my project and then click on open once again and this time you will observe that the code blocks doesn't quit unexpectedly and my project is opened so let me just uh, click on the main.cpp file here and this is the code which is generated automatically by the code blocks for us so to compile this code i just need to click on this build button so let me click on build button which is going to compile my project and there is no error in it zero error zero warning to run it i'm going to click on this uh, green run button so when i click on run button it says code blocks wants access to control terminal yes because we are creating the terminal application code blocks will run this uh, c++ program in the terminal so i'm going to click on okay here and it runs the application in the terminal and it will uh, show this kind of uh, problem here so when you see uh, this kind of problem on your zsh which says no such file or directory on code blocks what you need to do is um, let me just close this terminal go to your code blocks and then here click on settings and then click on environment and under terminal to launch the console program instead of this lines so instead of uh, this script terminal to launch the console program i need to change this script a little so i need to change it to uh, this uh, script so first part is okay osa script hyphen e tell app terminal hyphen e activate hyphen e do script until do script everything is okay but now it says quoted form of so i need to remove the quoted form of from here so let me uh, just remove this from here quoted from of and now this uh, script looks fine right so just uh, remove that section which says quoted form of and it's going to work so osa hyphen e uh, tell app terminal hyphen e activate hyphen e do script space script and then hyphen e and tell i'm going to click on okay here and once i do that and then when i click on the run button once again it's going to work you can see it prints hello world now and everything is working this is how you can download and install code blocks on your mac operating system i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video